Ask Reddit by Dirty Dirt 14. What is something that is really popular right now but will be ridiculous in 5 years? Buckle fat removal. I can't believe it's popular now. Women in their 20s looking like they're in their 40s. Miley Cyrus aged 2 decades. Then they'll get a bunch of filler later to offset the fat loss. None of this will age well. Reaction videos where it's literally just someone pointing and nodding at a video. Please let this die. TikTok added the ability to just repost a video specifically so people didn't have to do this and they still do it. It feels so disingenuous. Hopefully family vlogging. Stop using your kids as props for online clout. The Facebook kids are already grown up and telling how terrible it is. I think the TikTok children might just kill their parents at this rate. Just child actors without workplace protections. Paying above MSRP for a car. I still have no bloody clue why in America there is an entire billion dollar industry between the car manufacturers and the car buyers that exist just to sponge money off of people. Car prices could be so much more reasonable if we were legally allowed to bypass the stupid ass dealerships and just buy a car straight from the people that make them. Real life filter face. It's rapidly approaching uncanny valley levels of weird. Skin doesn't need to look like plastic. Edit. Filters aren't necessary either, but I'm talking about people trying to replicate that kind of smooth-faced strangeness with makeup. There's so many imperfections that are actually good-looking or make a person's face look more human, than the completely artificially looking smoothed out horror the filters do. Drunk elephant on kids. I don't know what this means, but I upvoted it. Carpet fringile ashes. My friends and I call them snuffalupaga slashes. Hopefully buckle fat removal. Tired of everyone wanting to look like a dementor. For those unaware, it's the procedure that makes your cheeks look skinnier at the cost of you looking like an inhuman alien. Anya had it done a few years back before she blew up with Queen's Gambit. HTTPS colon slash slash TSE1 dot MN dot Bing dot net slash th question mark i doip dot e7c1 j underscore x a y i a h t i u 6 w k x x b a h a e k ampersand amp semicolon pid api close bracket erin had it done more recently and aged at least a couple decades https colon slash slash tse2 dot mn dot bing dot net slash th question mark i doip dot r else war m c y r o zero u h l v two n s dash v f g a a a a ampersand amp semicolon pit a p ampersand amp semicolon or zero ampersand amp semicolon w four five three ampersand amp semicolon three one zero close bracket i really want to say stanley cups but they built their shit solid back in the day hopefully their prices come back down this is it there's a new fad water container water bottle every year there will be another one next year that everyone has to have. Really, really bright headlights, I hope. Ah fuck your headlights agrees. Musical pharmaceutical ads. But nothing is everything. Probably a lot of the slang being used. No cap, praying they yeet that shit out of here or... The videos where it's just an Ollie voice reading a reddit post. Like why? Costs almost zero to produce, but it generates views and money for the poster. Broccoli haircut. Hopefully. I had to look this up, and found an article the 50 best broccoli cuts. Then I found the 50 worst broccoli cuts and it was all the same photos. I'm curious what all the vape shops are going to turn into a few years from now. Followed in a few more years all the pickleball courts, indoor and amp, outdoor. I remember seeing some show doc on Herbalife, and one guy pivoted his shop from selling MLM shakes and powders into a vape shop. One of the few in the show who were actually successful, so I imagine we'll see something like that. 
giant ass lips. I've been hearing this for the past 5 years. Is this the trend that will look silly in the next 5 years and always will be? Just stop it already. Why are people still doing this? Who honestly believes this looks good? Who honestly wants these for themselves? Why? Tipflation being asked to tip on everything. All the car washes are doing this now too. Like, I'm running my car through an automatic wash and you want me to tip you? FaceTiming or having your phone on loudspeaker when on a call in public, hopefully. What I really don't get is people who have their phone on speaker, hold it parallel to the floor, and move the end back and forth between their mouth and ear. Why don't they just hold it like a phone? Andrew Tate and these Alpha Sigma male podcasts. It's self-sustaining though. It capitalizes on socially ill-adjusted, lonely guys. And by following turds like Tate, they will stay circally ill-adjusted, lonely guys or perhaps worsen. Those things that go over a jeep's headlights to make it look like the front is angry. A heap. Stanley Cups, Prime, and that fucking skabilly toilet. Prime has already fallen off where I live. Before it was mass imported they could sell it for 10 minus 15 euros a bottle in small shops, now it's 3 euros in every Tesco, but recently I have seen it discounted to 99c and the shelf was still full. TikTok dances. So many people gonna be cringing in their younger selves. That's been going on longer than TikTok. Anyone else have co-workers that forced the office to do the Gangnam Style or the Mannequin Dance Challenge? Edit, I am aware that dance crazes have been going on for eons. There was even the dancing mania that happened in Europe in like the 1500s. The point of my comment was more focused on the first sentence, it's been going on longer than TikTok. I don't need to get 1 million comments asking if I remember the fucking Mac Arena. Of course I do, it was part of my pay class in grade school. That stupid Instagram influencer fake everything look. Skibbity toilet. Honestly, the skibbity toilet is a weird scenario where the joke outlived its original purpose. It was a fun WTF video that became a hit like someone left a rotting steak on a pedestal. Gender reveal. There was that one lady farting blue dust to announce her son. The only acceptable reveal in existence. <laughs>